In order not to call such cars archaic, they were dubbed brutal. However, Wrangler went even further, earning a more honorable characteristic, fashion. Only for special connoisseurs and professionals. Meanwhile, the JK generation, the third generation of the SUV, could not boast of ideal reliability. Jeep Wrangler TJ second generation. Produced in 1997 to 2006, the car was equipped with petrol engines of 2.4, 2.5, and 4.0 liters. There were no diesels. As there was number 5 door body with a softer and more comfortable suspension, the cars were equipped with a 3 or 4 speed automatic, 5 or 6 speed mechanics. The model has gone through two restyling, in 1999 and 2002. Wrangler became a cult character very quickly. Immediately after its birth in 1987 in its homeland, in the USA, the car gained incredible popularity. Custom design, powerful off-road potential and affordable, by local standards, price. However, in today's Russia, you have to pay for the Wrangler. And pay a lot. His image has become expensive, and even a 10-15 year old car will easily empty a weighty purse. In return, however, you won't get a technique for ages. In fact, the car is rare so there is not much information on the network about its typical shortcomings. Fan preferences are divided. Someone seems nicer than a fairly reliable 200 horsepower 3.8 liter gasoline V6. Others prefer the 2.8 liter diesel turbo 4 from VM Motori, the Italian Mercedes. Despite its 177 forces, the diesel takes the moment, 460 Newton meters. And with him, perhaps, Jeep is even more impudent in dynamics. Can motors be considered problematic? Probably not. You just need to take into account a number of specific nuances. For example, on a diesel engine, it is worth changing the air filter as often as possible. On dusty off-road, it quickly clogs, almost having the performance of the motor. The fuel filter deserves no less attention, but it's more like winter. Otherwise, ice crystals and solid particles will finish the injection pump, the replacement of which will require at least 30,000 rubles. The gasoline engine also has its own problems, you can spend money first on troubleshooting, and then on replacing the Lambda Pro, there are two of them, by the way. Experts recommend washing the car from below more often so as not to change rotten Lambda probes annually. The crankshaft position sensor can also spoil the mood with incorrect operation. And many Wrangler owners strongly recommend removing the EGR system, returning part of the exhaust gases to the intake manifold, permanently. As well as the catalyst which every now and then begins to desperately smoke. There are usually no problems with B-speed mechanics. Just like with automatics. The diesel has a 5-speed automatic transmission, a 6-speed automatic works with the gasoline engine. However, it is not worth neglecting the control over the quantity and quality of the liquid in the boxes. The transfer case could be considered reliable if you are sure that the previous owner monitored the oil level and if it burned off-road. However, such cars are not used only for Sunday Massachusetts. They are bought for the sake of ambition, and not to keep track of the Rizdatka. And therefore, the lack of oil in it will quickly sentence the drive chain, the replacement of which can result in 25,000 rubles or more. Do not forget that the plug-in front and lower should only be used on real off-road. The unit is subject to rapid wear. A frequent transmission problem was a cracked drive shaft boot. Mileage and load do not play a role here. It is on this occasion that you can safely climb under a car already at 50,000 kilometers. And at the same time, check the crosses of the front axle axle shafts. By this run, they have definitely either already been replaced or required. In general, crosses love injection at least once every 15,000 kilometers. Corrosion is not considered the main enemy of the body. Many note the loose hinges of a loaded third or fifth door and the very principle of the transformer body did not benefit its reliability and strength. The electrics are weak, starting from the headlights and ending with all possible contacts and wiring. It rots and oxidizes. And with the suspension, not everything is as smooth as the manufacturer claims. The resource of many parts turned out to be almost twice as low as stated. In a word, paying for the car is still half the battle. She needs to be taken care of. Suspension. Levers live at least 100,000 nanometers. However, the rear shock absorbers, original, can give up already after 20 to 30,000 kilometers. The front ball joints do not shine with durability either. Silent blocks are changed if there are cracks in the rubber. 
the cost of replacing a complement comes up to 20,000 rubles with work. Transmission. It's hard to recommend anything specific to prolong transmission life other than checking the oil level. However, after buying a battered car, experts advise opening both bridges for the timely detection of oil leaks and wear of the axle shafts. Engine. Petrol V6, as it seems to us, the most reliable, will surely surprise you unpleasantly with consumption. It should not be tightened with the replacement of the drive belt, which drives everything attached. By the way, after 60,000 kilometers, many also changed its tensioner. Oil and filter change every 10,000 kilometers. Body. Wing extension plastic is a consumable item. Rarely do these parts come back intact from raids. In addition, its ability to transform into a convertible does not add reliability to the body. Over time, the joints can become loose, the paintwork at the attachment points is erased and the corrosion process begins. Electrician. Complain about wiring, especially on connectors that rot, and the signals transmitted through them begin to float. On a run of under 100,000 kilometers, most likely, it will be necessary to restore the PTF connectors in the bumper, the turn signal connectors in the wings, the wiring to the tow bar, the wiring in the rear block lights. And not only, 